Hello, my name is Crystal Vernon. I'm going to be talking about Congressman Frank Mariano Tejeda Jr. This is my audience. Congressman Tejeda quoted, I see other people get things done because they had influence. I got involved because it was the only way I felt to get things done. Congressman Frank Tejeda worked 16 years in the Texas legislature and four years in the House of Representatives, including nine counties, including covering nine counties. Born in um, San Antonio native, he was born in San Antonio to a poor family on October 2nd, 1945. His family was poor that he had to pick up side jobs um, to help bring in the income. Working side jobs, doing house cleaning, cutting grass, and shoe shine in local cafes. He, uh, um, he went to high school, um, my high school, Harlando High School, go Indians, and he also rolled with the wrong crowd though. He got into fights a lot in school. He got into fights a lot in his neighborhood. He rolled with the gangs. Um, he even got in trouble with the local authorities and in school, of course. He was skipping classes. His nickname in the streets was Pachuco, which means um, person who gets into a lot of fights. Um, he, was, he admitted that he was a hothead. He was hot-tempered, you know, so that would have got into, into trouble. Eventually, he got expelled from high school um, and then at 17 years old, he joined the Marines. He broke a lot of records there. It changed his perspective in life. It changed his aspirations and goals and everything that he thought of. Um, he became the youngest corporal and the youngest sergeant. He also received multiple honors. Um, he was a recipient of the Bronze Medal for Heroism in Vietnam. He was a recipient of a Purple Heart for becoming wounded in one of his deployments. He also received a Silver Star um, that was awarded to his family the year of his death. Um, it was awarded from President Clinton. He retired as a major and went to school for law and public administration. And that's where he started working as an attorney and then went from Texas legislator and House of Representatives. He, in, in his years of congressman, he had many contributions. He helped um, pass laws that protect minors, um, the older generation, and people with disabilities. He also helped um, create the North American Free Trade Agreement, the NAFTA Agreement. He was one of the many that protested against closing the local bases in here in San Antonio, which there was two that closed. It was Kelly Air Force Base and Brooks Air Force Base. He, helped, um, he created the Veterans Housing Assistance Program, and he created the Texas Crime Victim Bill of Rights. Um, he was a member of many committees. One of his major contributions that was very important to him was um, improving the streets of San Antonio, improving his neighborhood where he grew up. Um, so that was one of his successes. Um, he was also a spokesman for a lot of small businesses here in San Antonio. He had such an impact that um, they named the school after him, Frank Tejeda Academy. For troubled teens, um, teens that was that married him when he was a teenager, um, teens that fell behind in school, and that it's I guess like an alternative school. Um, in 1995, he was diagnosed with brain cancer. He had surgery. He received treatment for it, and he even went back to work. Um, but the, a few weeks later, the cancer came back. He eventually passed away in 1997 at 51 years old. He's buried 
with full military honors at Fort Sam Houston. Thank you very much. Um, this is concludes on the speech for Frank Tejeda.